The competition between Canon and Nikon is getting interesting with the release of two high-performance full-frame cameras, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the Nikon Z8. While these two cameras share many similarities, they also highlight key differences that could sway potential buyers. But with the Canon EOS R5 Mark II arriving over a year later than the Nikon Z8, does it offer enough improvements to make Nikon feel outdated? Let's get into the details and see how these two contenders stack up. When it comes to design, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and Nikon Z8 have distinct characteristics that reflect the philosophies of their respective manufacturers. The Canon EOS R5 Mark II is the more compact and lighter option, measuring 138.5 by 101.2 by 93.5 mm and weighing 656 grams without the battery. In contrast, the Nikon Z8 is slightly larger at 144 by 119 by 83 mm and noticeably heavier at 910 grams. The difference in weight is substantial enough to be felt during long shooting sessions, making the Canon EOS R5 Mark II the more portable choice. The layout and handling of these cameras also cater to different preferences. Canon's fully articulated screen provides greater flexibility for video shooters, while Nikon's multi-hinge design allows for quick adjustments, making it more suited for photography in various conditions. Both cameras feature a monochrome top display to quickly relay essential settings, but Canon takes the lead in usability with its more adaptable display. The electronic viewfinders are another critical area of comparison. The Canon EOS R5 Mark II boasts a superior 5.76 million dot EVF, offering a resolution of 1600 by 12 pixels. The Nikon Z8, while still impressive, falls short with a 3.69 million dot EVF, providing 1280 by 960 pixels of resolution. Despite this, Nikon counters with a slightly higher magnification of 0.8x compared to Canon's 0.76 and a blackout-free experience during continuous shooting. However, the higher resolution of the Canon EVF gives it a clearer, more detailed view, making it a win for Canon in this department. Performance is where these two cameras really shine each offering top-tier capabilities for both photographers and videographers. Both the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and Nikon Z8 are equipped with full-frame sensors in the 45 megapixels range, with the Nikon Z8 sporting a 45.7 MP sensor and the Canon EOS R5 Mark II featuring a 45 megapixel sensor. Both cameras offer stacked sensor designs to minimize rolling shutter distortion, a critical feature for fast-moving subjects. While the sensors are nearly identical in resolution, there are some notable differences in ISO performance. The Nikon Z8 has a lower base ISO of 64, which can be expanded down to 32, providing excellent dynamic range for landscape photographers. The Canon EOS R5 Mark II starts at ISO 100, expandable down to 50. Though the difference in base ISO may seem minimal, it could be a deciding factor for those who prioritize image quality in high-contrast scenes. When it comes to video, both cameras are powerhouses. They can shoot 8K video at up to 60 FPS, with 4K shooting reaching up to 120 FPS. Canon, however, offers the additional benefit of 240 FPS at full HD resolution, a feature that the Nikon Z8 lacks. This makes the Canon EOS R5 Mark II more versatile for slow-motion videography. Neither camera offers an open-gate shooting mode, which would allow for capturing the entire sensor's image data, but both include a full-size HDMI port, which is a must-have for professional video work. Autofocus is where the Canon EOS R5 Mark II pulls ahead, thanks to its next-general AI-driven system. Canon's dual-pixel intelligent AF has been significantly upgraded, with features like Eye Control AF, which focuses on the subject your eye is looking at in the EVF. This innovative technology gives the Canon a futuristic edge, 
particularly in fast-paced environments like sports and wildlife photography. Additionally, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II can recognize and track up to 10 specific individuals, making it an excellent choice for event photographers who need to prioritize specific subjects in crowded scenes. The Nikon Z8's uh, autofocus is no slouch, though it lacks some of the intelligence seen in Canon's system. Nikon claims the Z8 can focus in lower light conditions, down to 7.5 EV compared to Canon's 6.5 EV. While this may provide a slight advantage in dim environments, the Canon's advanced subject recognition and tracking capabilities give it the upper hand in most scenarios. In terms of burst shooting, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II outperforms the Nikon Z8 with a maximum of 30 FPS for RAW plus JPEG shooting, compared to Nikon's 20 FPS for RAW and 30 FPS for JPEG only. The Canon also features a mechanical shutter option, though it tops out at 12 FPS. On the other hand, Nikon's buffer size is much more impressive, capable of handling over 1,000 RAW frames, while Canon's buffer is limited to 93 RAW frames. This makes the Nikon Z8 more suitable for extended bursts during action photography, though the Canon's superior speed makes it a better choice for those who need to capture fleeting moments. So, which camera is better? The Canon EOS R5 Mark II or the Nikon Z8? The answer, as with most camera comparisons, depends on your specific needs and shooting style. If you're a photographer who values portability, advanced autofocus, and high-speed shooting, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II is likely the better choice. Its AI-driven autofocus system, superior EVF resolution, and lightweight design make it an excellent all-around performer. The additional features like eye control AF and the ability to recognize specific individuals add a layer of intelligence that's hard to ignore. For videographers, Canon's full HD 240fps capability and fully articulated screen also make it a more versatile tool for creative video work. On the other hand, the Nikon Z8 offers excellent value, especially with its more affordable price point. It's a solid workhorse that excels in extended burst shooting, has superior battery life when using the EVF, and provides impressive low-light autofocus performance. If you're a photographer who needs a robust camera for action, sports, or wildlife photography, the Nikon Z8 is a longer-lasting buffer and slightly better low-light performance may be more appealing. Ultimately, the Canon EOS R5 Mark II takes the edge in innovation and advanced features, but the Nikon Z8 remains a formidable competitor that won't disappoint. If you're already invested in either the Canon or Nikon ecosystems, there's little reason to switch. But for those starting fresh, Canon's latest technology gives it a slight lead in this head-to-head -head battle. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.